Welcome to the Trucker Brown Channel. I am Trucker Brown, and I am here to tell you, or to talk to you about, something people always throw in your face when you're driving OTR, like they really know. They say something to you like, hey, then that's a waste of money. Now, we need to analyze what we really think is a waste of money when it comes uh, if you're if you're driving. There's a few things that you could call a waste of money and that are true that are a waste of money, but it's like is it worth it wasting the money would be the biggest question. The number one drain of money if you're just a company driver out here on the road is it's not women it's not gadgets it isn't hotels even though hotels do cost the number one waste of money is food the reason why i can speak on this because i buy an extremely Usually extremely amount of food now. I, I've been only eating about one real solid meal a day for the past week Trying this whole, you know intermittent fasting fiasco but Usually I'm spending way more money on food than I should If I could be honest. I'm, I'm spending in the 200s a week on food Now that is an extravagantly Large amount of money for food Let me tell you why when I'm in places, I I eat where I want. I I I I, I eat at a sit down place. I sit down and eat and order what I want: steaks and, and extras and all that. Thirty, forty dollar, fifty dollar, sixty dollar, seventy dollar meal, depending on where I'm at. If I want to go somewhere nice, three, four, five star, I do that. You know, I just do it. But it does not change the fact from that as a waste of money. You could easily and I do mean easily, go to Walmart, spend about $70 a week on food and be fine. Okay, don't get this twisted. It's a waste of money, it is. You can go in there and get a whole bunch of tuna fishes and, and, and bologna sandwiches and, 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 and um, um, where we are, where are you can get um, peanut butter and jelly, oodles and noodles, Hamburger helper, you have a skillet and get chicken breast and all this type of stuff. And knowing this, is this going to stop me from eating what I want? No, because I feel this is just how I feel, even though I'm acknowledging that this is a waste of money. I feel we work too hard on the road to not eat what we want. I believe, and I, I could be wrong here. This is gonna be something y'all could, you could definitely chime in at the bottom and tell me, you know, that's just a waste of money, and it is. But I, you know, I'm gonna pick the water I want. I'm gonna eat what I want. I'm gonna do what I want. I think that's part of the freedom of being out here. But don't get it twisted. It is a large waste of money, because there's guys out here who are legitimately spending about sixty, seventy bucks a week on food, and they don't veer from it. So if you take, we'll call mine 250. So if you take that 150 a week and you multiply it by 52 weeks, how much money is that? It's over six thousand dollars they saved on just um, just eating eating food that they got out of the um, out of the store. And depending on how you're getting food out of the store, it is it is probably extremely way extremely more healthy for you than eating at places that I like to eat you know I'm a steakhouse fiend I like to go to steakhouses and 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 and, and, and uh places that are not when I travel and I stop somewhere I want to go to places that aren't um franchise so I go to non franchise three four star restaurants and I get steaks and lobsters and whatever I want I look at it like if you're making the sacrifice to be out here, you should be able to 
eat anything you want. That's how I look at it. Now, I could be wrong. Y'all could tell me at the bottom if I'm wrong, but yeah, it is a, it's, a, it's a waste of money. At the end of the day, it's a waste of money, but it's a waste of money that I know it is, and I'm conscious of it, and, and you know, we are though. Now, I think number two would be, it would definitely be um, gadgets. At the bare minimum, you, you need is about a $200 GPS. Um, one sticky thing on the, on, the, on the windshield to hold your phone. And you could, you could do everything you need to do from there. That's it. You don't need as many sticky things as I have, uh, as many uh, windshield mounts as I have. You do not need uh, all the cameras I have. I don't even need all the cameras that I have. Um, you know, you don't you don't need these things. These things are things that I do as a hobby to keep me um, to keep me occupied. But they are a waste of money. I have uh, my my. Let's just go across on the money that I've spent on it. Um, the camera I'm talking into now, $1,200. The lens on this camera, this lens is $1,500. This lens, $1,000. Uh, the microphone on it, three, four hundred. The uh, stand, a hundred. Friction arm, this. The screen I have to, to be able to see myself while I'm using an actual DSLR, that's about $600. My uh, AX53 was $1,200. My RX100 was $1,200. My um, Z150, after everything and shipping, was $4,000. The, the stand for that, the tripod for that was $400. My lights, $500, $600. And then I have a, a 70 to, 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 to something. I have like six more lenses, different ones. And that's probably another six grand in lenses. Um, my photography stuff. Yeesh. It, it get, it's, it's, I say total, you know, because I'm supposed to be getting it insured. It's, it's, if you had to give it a round number, it's about 10 grand. 10 to $15,000 in just a hobby. Um, now my hobby does pay me back because I get paid to do these videos. You probably don't. And you, and if you don't, then it is just, I mean, technically it's a waste of money. Would I say spend it? Yes. Because it, idle mind is of the devil. Okay. And you, if you're out here not doing anything and you're just doing nothing, that's where the lot lizards and the philandering and the, 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 the casinos, unless you're like some people that win a lot of money at casinos or something. But I mean, you don't always win at casinos, so they do take a lot of money. Then the hostel stay, the women that are in casinos, because there's, there's, there's a working women at these casinos that these guys uh, frequent. So if they're you, if you you watching a YouTube with that frequency casino, he's definitely buying working women. That that's just part of it. Um, that's a big expense. The um, so be mindful of that. You know, if you're coming out here to make money and to to reach a certain goal, you just have don't get caught in the you know. The traps, the, the traps of uh, of things that truckers buy. Chrome is one of them. You know, Chrome doesn't get you home, it, but it. Hey, people like it. So if you, I'm, I'm a person who completely is, if 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 that is what you're into, do it. I'm not gonna tell you not to do it, but at the same time, we still have to acknowledge the responsible adults that it is a waste of money. It is a waste of money. But if you want to do it, do it. You know, screw it. Chrome your joint out from the front to back. You take pride in it. It's your home. It's your vehicle. It's your way of making money. Then do it. You know, it is what it is. Um, another another drain or, or waste of money 
technically it kind of isn't, but you know, this, this, this list hurts me because I'm guilty of a lot of it. I mean, I have more than one income. I have about four, so I may be in a slightly bit of different situation than you, but it still gives me no excuse. I'm still wasting, I'm still wasting money doing it. Hotels. The hotel I'm in right now, I'm in, um, where am I? I'm in Fontana. And this hotel, when they, when they fill up around here, because we're, we're by the Ontario airport, when it fills up, what hotels do is, if they're empty, they're cheaper. So as the hotel rooms fill up for the day, the computer ups the prices of the hotels. I got the last room here. So this was about $260 a night. It would have been 160 in my defense. What are you gonna do? It would have been 160 if the if 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 it wasn't booming right now. So it, you know, in my defense, but I'm doing a 34 hour reset. That's two days. You just blew 500 dollars. Then I gotta eat. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> like I'm gonna eat 200 dollars worth of food here. Like I'm I'm going to every dope restaurant I want to go. Like, period. I don't care. And I don't, oh, well, you know, uh, give me the two for 20. I don't do that. Give me what I want when I want it. And I just do that. This place doesn't have room service, thank God, because usually I go to, uh, I'm not going to tell you where, I'm a spin dot, you know what I'm saying? On loud, we'll just call it the Ritz Cards. And, you know, I go to what I call the Ritz Calls, and which is just a joke. Um, and they do room service. Usually I pay about two, two twenty a night. Uh, my room service bill, I mean, it's about $75 of room service. To be honest, it's about $75 of room service, no matter what you do. <laughs> like, no matter what, you, you just ask for the salmon meal, you're going to get a drink, you get a uh, dessert, you pay the dude for coming up here, the fee for it being room service, it's about 70 bucks. You stay in there two nights, it's, that's another $140. 140 call it 200 bucks another 200 bucks on top of the fact it's 220 a night you're there two nights that's four five six you get six seven hundred dollars then you know it adds up dude it, it it does it adds up so it's one of those situations where i am a man enough to say i know what is a waste of money do i have an excuse for spending it no do i feel bad for spending it no Will I stop doing it? No. But to tell you, if you may not be out here like me or in my situation or, 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 or making as much as me or, 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 or you may have more responsibilities than me, you still need to be conscious that it is a waste of money. It is. You stay at a hotel, you chill, it's good, you get the experience, but after that, that money's gone, dude. It is. And, you know, my whole, my whole, I want you to be, um, just understand that it's a waste of money. It's a waste of money. Now, I have LLCs and stuff like that, and these do help me with taxes. But if you're not in that position, then you really have no excuse at all. You don't. Like, you don't have any excuse. Because at the end of the day, you can stay in your truck. You know, when I, I, I didn't do hotels the first four years of my career, I did 34 hours and all that right in the truck. You know, that's when I was, I was a butt naked rookie. But at the same time, I mean, I didn't spend, I wouldn't have spent this 500 to be here. I'd have kept that in my pocket. So it is a waste of money. Like, yeah, I just want you to know the waste of money that, that, that can come. Um, Turo's. Huge waste of money. It, I've rented Camaros, Corvettes, Range Rovers, um, Benzes, <laughs> Escalades, <laughs> Porsches. Like I've I've come, and that's just the stuff that y'all probably have seen on my snaps on Instagram. That's not even talking about the cars that I've rented that I didn't show. Why? I don't know. You know, I, 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 I my excuse is I want to live. You know, you're in that box all the time. 
I'll pull into Atlanta or, or, or when I used to go see Dean or or, 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 or Miami or, 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 or Cali or somewhere, and I may want to ball out. So I'll just go in there and try to rent a Lamborghini. I've never been able to get my hands on a Lamborghini because the prices are just too stupid. There's, they want like $1,600 with a $1,000 deposit, and you can only drive it 50 miles. Not interested. But I have rented like Porsches and stuff. And just <laughs> for two days and just drove around like I bought it. Like I've done that. Like and it is fun. It is fun. But it is a drastic waste of money. It's a drastic waste of money. Okay? Now, when I have certain windfalls, I'll do stuff like that. When I get money that's out of the norm, if I have a, a viral video and I get umpteen amount of money, then I'm gonna just say, you know what, I'm gonna take a band and rent something. And then I'll just act a fool and rent it and stuff like that. But it, it does cost. It costs. You know, these things take premium fuel half the time. They're terrible on gas. I mean, I've gotten stuff like BMWs that are just terrible on gas. And you're thinking, this is a little car, but I think it's a V8. And it takes nothing but premium. And you're blowing, that's a $400 rental for a day. You drive it around and try to get the miles out of it. You filled it up twice, $60 a fill up. Like, it is, it's a waste of money. It is. It's a waste of money. I'm practicing modesty lately, so I'm not doing that. I'm renting stuff like Priuses and, 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 and like, little, little rice burners and Toyota Yaris's, which is an excellent car, by the way. I drove that thing, like, 600 miles, and it didn't run out of gas. Awesome. Um... You know, I'm buying, I'm, I'm renting things like that. So the, 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 the Toro bill has definitely went down. But it, 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 these are just things I've wasted money on, bro. Now, I'm, not, I'm celibate, so I can't just be like, women's a waste of money. But I know from association that women are a waste of, uh, no, the opposite sex, we'll call it, because women are truckers too. So the opposite sex, or whatever you do, is a waste of money. It's a waste, it's a waste of money. Because everything you do, you got to do it times two. So now you get in the room. So if you are ordering room service, you're ordering that times two. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're going out to eat. Now you're eating times two. Now your $70 uh, meal is a $150 meal plus tip. So it does cost. As they say, you got to pay to play, baby. It is what it is. But these are trucking sinkhole, trucking waste of money. It's just complete. And I'm a person, you can beat me up in the comments and say, I would never do that. Well, you probably never lived. I have some um, wonderful stories and um, uh, memories from doing these things. And I don't regret none of them. But you know that they are a waste of money. They're a waste of money. And if you're, you're not trying to waste no money or live that type of lifestyle, don't do it. You know, I did it for, I say, two years where I just, I've had to, I'm not even going to say what I've blown. Because the joke is I'm broke, but the truth is I've blown a lot of money. And it is, it is what it is. I've done it just to do it. Just, just to just say I've done it. Just, say I've, just, just to have it. Just to, you know, I want to push this for two days. I, I want to see what it's like. And I just do it now. It's better than buying it now. Because I got to give it back. So I've kind of gotten the luxury stuff out of my system. And I've never had to own it. So I should get some points for that. But this is just the truth, man. You know, um, if you're not going to be out here running and you don't have the best situation or you don't have the, uh, the, 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 what's the word? The faith in your company as I have been, that I've been having in mind for the past three, uh, going on four years, then I don't suggest you do that. But these are just waste of money. I'm just telling you the money I've wasted. Keep an eye out for it. At the end of the day, you could be the guy who sits in a truck, never gets a hotel, never rents a car, does Uber X, eats tuna fish and peanut butter for three, four, five years straight, and then you could say, I saved up $130,000, and I went and got to this business. You could be that guy, dude, but we're all not that person, you know? You could be that dude. Me, I'm just not that guy. I like to live. I liked to live, because I'm practicing modesty now, so a lot of these things I've already taken out of the equation. But I'm just coming here and being honest with you, because you may be young and you may fall into this. Look, this is Trucker Brown. This is also the new setup. Don't do drugs. Be good. And listen, dude, it's a waste of money, honestly. <laughs>